Hello, hello, it's Uma Tencho, back with another video. I know I'm short a picture or drawing, but that's my fault. I decided to do it so late. I'm sitting here rushing to get this thing done, but you know, the character that I was going to draw for number four, I feel like I couldn't give it the time it needs, so I just pushed it to the next week, so it ain't no big deal. So, I think I just put so much time also into the, the side ducks. I'm just like, oh, it's going to be so simple, it's going to take me two you know, two hours for the whole thing. I'm just like, oh great, this could be a four hour production and I just didn't give myself enough time so it'd still be technically coming out on Wednesday and all that stuff. So, it is what it is on on that matter. I worked on his bill a lot, but it is what it is. Sometimes the simple stuff can be the hard stuff. Um, oh, I decided to, to uh, do you call it plant avocado this um yesterday so i looked that up so i probably won't see any any progress on that until march because i'm planting it in a cold, cooler season even though my radicchio sprouted which was shocking to me sprouting is doing fine like i i'm not gonna lie i initially neglected it when it come to water because i straight up forgot it was down there I don't have enough space and tables and so I don't have the money for another table you know so you know the next things I'm getting will be probably an image scanner or something like that and then I gotta go through the whole process of rescanning all of my art so it's a, of a better higher quality that being said um speaking of quality I will probably say the weakest would be gold duck and probably I probably would put the top Ooh, I don't know it's between Golduck and the next character, in my opinion. But I like how it turned out. Even though Golduck's yellow, I just decided just to go in. Decided to go in on it. I could easily have just left it white. You know, just left it blank. But, you know, I had to be extra about it. So, I, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. See how it turns out. You don't really know until you stop drawing, you know, stop drawing and you can look back and see what you've done and it's like, oh yeah, actually I like this one the um, most. Um, like I had made some mistakes on the adjust drawing that I fixed in post. I fixed, you know, it's not record, it's not, you know, you'll see when I re-upload it, but that's why I didn't choose it for the drawing of the week. Um, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. So that's why I chose the Jake Long. I'm just like, that's the one with the least amount of mistakes. Um, there are some lines that were in dark and all that stuff, so it becomes kind of, it's kind of, at least from my perspective, becomes kind of jarring. So it's between the Psyduck and this character from My Hero Academia and whatnot. So I actually like drawing this one. This one's, uh, you know, is there Don? Let me put like this, like, Muscular characters. Will I say muscular characters? Maybe because it's a full human body. I don't know, but there's a lot of it's a lot of parts that I feel comfortable with if I can just get it started. So I think I want to have a is it McFarlane the guy who did uh, Image Comics? I think I might have a foot problem. Is it I can I have the least of my experience drawing human feet so. That's gonna be the problem. I'm like I'm getting a lot of I feel like I'm getting a lot of obviously face. So I always start I always make sure I get the face drawn. But I feel like I'm in terms of lower body, um I there's a lot of weakness on that. Just because I just don't because my proportions are so terrible when I draw these characters, even if it's a full body reference. Like I rarely get to the feet and whatnot. So I gotta work on that. I've got to work on that. But other than that, you know. I'm, I'm happy. I'm the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm going to probably put him as the character, the drawing of the week, art of the week. To be honest with you, I just like. I think when I started adding, started darkening the lines, and I think it was when I started doing the the, uh, the black parts is really, really when I started to just accept the drawing. You know, I could have did the left side from our perspective, the left side a bit better, but whatever. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. 
I think this part here was the most shocking part. I was like, oh, once I get the dark, once I get the dark, um, what you call it, the the, uh, the dark part shaded, and this would be it. And I was like, oh, there's another layer of shading. Great. But, but you know, and that's when I realized that I was running out of time with him. Uh, and this is the gold duck. I don't want. I would say I have an easier time drawing this one, but I, I don't know. You'll see for yourself when it comes to when it comes to this one. Um, I didn't have to. I said I didn't even have to fight the bill on this one. I guess the problem with with side is that with, you know some of these Pokemon they have a body part that's like extra extra big and it's simple, and so you'll find simple circular but large body parts can can trip you up because it's so simple and so the simpler it is the easier it is to see mistakes and so i had to draw Psyduck's bill like three four times before i finally get it to the proportion and all that other stuff that i wanted it to be which is you know with that but with Golduck it was not that as you can see i didn't have to redraw it or nothing like that so he's, he's, even though there's more going on with gold duck it was easier to do I guess you once can say that, you know, some people would think that more more parts would be harder, but it's actually easier to do, I will say. I just think the key is within the reference of the drawing itself, just keep the reference, you know, the lines, if you get the lines lining up and the, the shape, you know, the size in reference to the drawing, right? Like I had to redo the, um, the spear, the uh, little gem on the head, as you will see later on, but if you do it like that you know it will come together even if it is too big in terms of the reference like it goes off the page it'll still look natural or better at least and i am glad that i invested in these pencils though they made a in my opinion they made a ton of difference i used to have to put so much work just to get a dark thing and then you you know ton of difference I'm happy. This is one thing I'm, I'm happy that I made in terms of a change. Like if I didn't have much work to do with with gold up, you know, I didn't have much to do. Kind of think of it. You just, I think it just, I think when it comes to characters with a lot of parts to it, you just have to just sort of, you know take it one step at a time. I think that's why I start with a light colored pencil first because it's easier to erase out mistakes and all the other stuff. That being said, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, this is Umi Tencho. Have a great week.